This is a collar emitter. It's a piece of equipment that is used in quantitative analysis in order to determine the concentration of a solution. It does this by measuring the amount of light that's absorbed by the solution. If we look inside a colorimeter, we can see that there's a light bulb and this shines a light through a coloured filter. Now this filter um, only allows light of a certain wavelength to pass through. The light then passes through a coloured solution that you wish to determine the concentration of and then a readout meter tells you or gives you a numerical value for the amount of light absorbed. Now, when you're using a colorimeter, the first thing you, well, using a colorimeter is quite easy. The only thing that is a bit tricky is that you need to prepare a calibration graph. And a calibration graph is a way of converting the absorbance that you measure with to a known concentration. Right. When you're using the collar emitter, the first thing I'm going to do is I turn it on. It's on. Now, the collar emitter uses these special um, tubes called cuvettes. Now, the cuvette is a square tube and it's got two transparent sides and two slightly opaque sides. When you're using it, you have to be very careful that you only handle with the opaque sides. You need to make sure you don't get any liquid or any dust or smudges on the clear transparent sides because this is the way that your light is going to shine through. You fill your cuvette initially with distilled water because this is going to be your reference value. Um, to just below, there's a little V, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little V just on the front of the tube there and that tells you which way to put it into the machine. So I turn my machine on, I filled it with distilled water, I put my cuvette in and I press R and that should give me a readout of zero because there's no light absorbed because that's distilled water. I'm now going to prepare my calibration graph. So I've got a range of solutions of different concentrations. I'm going to take the first solution, it's in my cuvette, and I'm going to put it in and I'm going to press test this time. And this gives me an absorbance value, a numerical value that I can write down. I know the concentration of that solution and it's told me the absorbance. I'm going to continue for my other solutions, making sure that I reference in between each one. Now my absorbance value should increase as my concentration increases. and I continue that for all my concentrations until I've got a full set of values. What I will have is data that I can use to plot a calibration graph. And this is a graph like this where I've got my absorbance of light usually in arbitrary units on the y-axis and my concentration of my solution on the x-axis and my values as my concentration increases the absorbance of light increases so I can plot those values and because they're directly proportional I should be able to draw a nice straight line with a ruler through them. This is my calibration graph. I'm now ready to determine the concentration of my unknown solution, which I have here. Checking that I don't handle it by the clear sides. I put it with the V facing away from me and I press T. And this gives me an absorbance value 
So then I look at my calibration graph, I can take my absorbance value and for example say it's here and I read across to I reach my line and then I can read down and that will give me the concentration of my unknown solution. Now the colorimeter, once you've set up your calibration graph, it's obviously a very quick method. There are a few errors that can occur though. The first error is if you haven't set it to the correct wavelength for the colour of solution that you are testing. Um, so you need to check that. The other error is using dirty cuvettes or scratched cuvettes. Um, if your solution has any um, uh, particles in it, precipitate or anything that can affect your absorbance. And then the other error is the calibration graph. For example, if I have my graph, if my data, when I do my calibration curve, if my data isn't in a perfect straight line, it can be difficult to know where to plot my line of best fit. I might plot it here or I might plot it here. And obviously where you plot your line of best fit is going to affect the, comp the value that you read off. For example, if my absorbance is here and I read off, that will give me one concentration. Whereas if I've plotted my line here, it would give me a different concentration. So getting an accurate calibration graph will help to minimise errors.